The Creative Cloud is very powerful for designers. So whether you're doing print, web, mobile, even video, you have that capability to basically create what you want. Now if you are, say for instance, a print designer, you have access to InDesign, Photoshop, Illustrator, all of those apps, uh, as well as some web apps as well. Uh, but what you can do is you can go ahead and download what you want, install what you want, and then just use it right on your desktop. Uh, but another thing you can do is also use touch apps to allow you to create on a device and then transfer those files seamlessly. So you have the ability to sync and store your assets. And not only that, give the ability for the client to review what you're creating. But it even goes a step beyond that because I've talked about apps uh, as well as a, a service, but you also have the ability to use services for website hosting. So I'm going to get into that in a second. But I actually would just want to go ahead and start out on my iPad because say for instance you are uh, on location somewhere and an idea hits you, you need to be able to capture that. Now I'm going to go ahead and start off on my iPad. So here's my iPad. I have Adobe Ideas open. Notice this is actually just one of six uh, Adobe Touch apps uh, that are available for iPad and for Android tablets. And I can start off with a new page, or what I can even do is uh, start off with a design uh, based on something that I have on the Creative Cloud as some of my files that I have out there. From my photo library, I can take a picture using the camera uh, from my, my tablet device. Uh, or even jump out to Google or Flickr and pull down images that way. But again, I was kind of out and about and I really just wanted to start with a blank page. So here I am in Adobe Ideas and this is really for uh, basically it's for a, a coffee shop. Uh, so that's where I was. I was at a coffee shop and I just quickly just kind of drew a coffee cup. Again, I'm just keeping this simple, quickly sketching out a coffee cup just like that. And I was inspired by the shape of the coffee cup because it started to look like a lily and since this is more for like an organic coffee shop I might do something like that. So again being inspired when I'm out and about I can go ahead and capture that idea however simple or complex it may be. So from there I can just go ahead and click back and I can sync that to the Creative Cloud and that's what's going on right here. Just turn that on and sign in and you'll be able to sync that asset to your desktop and even to the website as well. So now what's happening is that file is automatically being synced to my Creative Cloud files. Very cool. So now back on my desktop, I can access that file. Here's that file. Notice I have other creative files in here, some PSD files, uh, in fact, an InDesign file. But I can go ahead and open up this idea file in Illustrator, for instance, and continue to work on it and really refine that idea that I've established when I was actually at the uh, coffee shop. But not only that, in fact, if I just close that, I also have access to these files on creativecloud.com in my files section. So you can see there's that idea file. I can see this PSD file, another PSD file as I scroll down. Here's an Illustrator file that you actually are able to see the contents of what it contains. Very powerful. In fact, if I jump in here and take a look at this PSD just as a simple example, notice how I'm giving, given these swatches for this file. Uh, you're actually able to download it if you are, say, on a different computer, and I can access the different layers. So I can start to turn things on and off when it comes to these files. Very powerful being able to do that. In fact, let's take a look. Again, this is really powerful uh, from a designer's perspective because you can access InDesign files as well. So think of being able to work in InDesign and just save that InDesign file to that folder and then all you need to do is go to the website and look, you can actually see the contents of that InDesign file and page through the various spreads. So as I click, you can see those various pages. Very powerful being able to do this, but we can take this a step further and allow for comments. Because as you can see right over here, comments, you can quickly add a comment and write in here, you know, great layout whatever you want to do there. So this allows for fast review process, not only from the client's perspective, maybe from other designers. Very impressive being able to do this. Uh, but really what I want to do is I just want to work on this design that I was working on earlier. You can see this idea file. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, go back to my desktop. And here's the idea file. 
it's actually opened in Illustrator and here are all my vector points. So it's actually drawing in vector and I can continually just refine this to get it really where I want it using Illustrator. So I'm just going to go ahead and open up sort of the final file again taken from what I've captured on the iPad that inspiration and developed into this full idea with these coffee cups that looks somewhat like flowers but you get the idea of what's going on here. But this is actually going to be a background for a website. This is really exciting. I know this is the designer video, but it's really cool. We're actually going to be making a website very easily. But first thing I need to do is just save this for the web and make it a smaller image. So I'm going to save this to this folder right here, and this is going to be my background JPEG. Saved it out. Now Again, what I'm going to do is make a website and I'm going to use this new program that's part of the Creative Cloud called Muse because you have access as a Creative Cloud member, you have access to new programs such as Muse which allows you to create websites without writing any code as well as Edge which allows you to create animation and interactivity using web standards like CSS3, JavaScript uh, as well as HTML5. But again, I've actually already installed Muse and here it is. And I've actually already have some pages in place here. And it's really easy to use because you have this concept of master pages down here, which is similar to InDesign. So as a designer, you might be familiar with uh, that metaphor. But I'm just going to go ahead and edit this master file right here. And again, I'm going to use that image as the background. So I'm going to go to Browser Fill, and I'm going to locate that image that I've just created, which is right there. So I'm selecting it. And I could make it its original size, which is exactly what I want to do, but I want to go ahead and tile it as well. And now you can see it tiled in the background just like that. So really easy to work with. In fact, going beyond that, you have this widget library which allows you to create menus, add slideshows and other panels, all this interactivity without writing code. Very powerful. And really, I can import any asset that I want to uh, that's a, a web safe asset. But nonetheless, I'd say this looks pretty good, and I want to go ahead and preview this. So I was in design mode. Now I'm going to go into preview mode, and you can see that background as well as additional functionality as well. Again, I didn't have to write any code to create this, so this is perfect. Not only that, we have additional services that are actually part of the Creative Cloud. In fact, this little publish button right here gives me the ability to publish my website directly from Muse. Very powerful. I'll select Publish. I can go ahead and type in the site name. And what I'd want to do in this case is just make a Kevin's Coffee Cart temp site just for the client to review. So I can go ahead and make a temp site and always change that later. Uh, and I can give it a special name because I've actually published this out as well a couple times. So let's just go ahead and give it a different name and make sure this is a new site as well. So I can always change this URL so that's not a big deal. But just the power to be able to take what I've just created in here and then click OK to basically publish this out to the web uh, and actually have the client review it and then publish it live from there. Now, as a Creative Cloud member, you have access and can actually publish out up to five sites using this publishing solution, which is called Business Catalyst. But it's not like you just publish and then you're done with it. You can continually upload and change that content, but not only that, you can actually get statistics on how well your content is performing. So I'm just going to go ahead and click over to that. So here I am in Business Catalyst. I'm able to manage this site, not only see how well it's performing, but I can jump into site settings if I want and customize that URL. Very powerful. And remember, I didn't have to write any code to create this, and I have a complete site for my client. But very powerful from a designer's perspective, being able to uh, create your idea on your iPad or Android tablet, transfer that, refine the idea, and then even publish it out. And I didn't even talk about the digital publishing solution, the single edition which will be introduced later. But it's very powerful from a designer's perspective, so I encourage you to check it out.